Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and go through the configuration of Web Security Appliance or WSA uh, or Ironport, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I have a fresh install in my lab and we're going to go ahead and configure it from scratch, which really doesn't take that much. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and integrate it with ICE, which again, doesn't really take that much. Um, ICE and WSA integrate to share security group tags and where you can create policies based on it. In my lab right now, I actually don't have uh, TrustSec configured, but um, I'll at least take you through the steps to go ahead and configure the WSA integration. And there are some default tags built in, so that'll still get transferred or uh, shared over. So you'll get to see uh, some of that information. So um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to kind of jump into the Ironport uh, appliance or WSA. And uh, it should get an IP address from, uh, from DHCP, which I'm not going to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the interface really quickly with an IP address I want. So we're going to edit this interface number one, which is management, configure IPv4. Which is, and I'm going to go ahead and pick the IP address I want for this. And no, I don't want IPv6. I'll leave that. At, I'm going to enable S, uh, FTP, and I actually do have a method uh, of my madness why I want to do that. I want to actually transfer the uh, the license files over prior to uh, configuration. Now I'm going to type in commit to commit those changes I just made, and. Next thing I'm going to do is pull up WinSCP. And I don't need to upgrade that right now. Do FTP. Using admin iron port. And I'm going to go ahead and move uh, the license file on my desktop over to the configuration folder. All right, after that's done, if I go back to my interface, I can just go load license. Um, I'm going to load it from file. It's going to be wsa1.xml. It's going to have me go through this big long legal thing that I'm reading very carefully, as you can see. And that's it. So now if I go pull up the web interface, it's the uh, oops, if I can type out, type this out, 100 dot 15 and 8443 is the default port. I'm going to type in admin and iron port. And initially to set it up, you would go to system administration and system setup wizard. And we'll go ahead and start configuring it here. So it's WSA security demo. I'm going to go ahead and choose my AD server as the NTP server. I leave the rest at, a de at default. Uh, I do have a upstream proxy, so I'm going to go ahead and configure that. I'm going to leave this at default as well. I do have a test network, so I'll put that in there. The uh, route to that network. And just remember, your WSA is not a router, so it 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 uh you can't share do routing protocols or anything else. So you just want to make sure that you uh, put static routes for, for the places it needs to go, and only the places it needs to go. Create a password. I do have to put a you have to put an IP uh, an email address in, but you don't necessarily have to put a SNMP relay host. I'm not going to go ahead and send alerts. I'll leave this at default of just monitor and everything enabled. And then I click install this configuration. And it's going to redirect me with the uh, the uh, DNS name, which I don't have configured right now. So instead, I'm just going to go back to this. It'll take a moment to load because it's probably still installing some of the stuff. Or I could just have it log me right back in. All right, it's finally loaded. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and configure the ICE integration. So I'm going to have to add my uh, trusted CA under the, the trusted CA uh, management. So let's give it a moment to pull up. 
my uh, lab is a little bit on the kludgy side right now because I have so many VMs loaded up, so it's not exactly performing at its best. All right, so now we're finally to the certificate management screen, and we're going to go ahead and click Manage Trusted Root Certificates. We're going to have to upload our root certificate from the, the uh, Active Directory CA. And then we'll go ahead and click Import, which will be imp will, which will import the uh, the Active Directory CA. Sorry if this uh, video is a little choppy. Uh, I actually keep having a walk away, but I come back and to do the next thing. And I know my my web my WSA is a little on the slower side because it's a little underutilized or overutilized right now. So I'm going to pause it again and wait until I'm at that screen and. All right, now we're going to go ahead and browse to our downloaded uh, CA cert, which is there. And I'm going to go ahead and submit it with, and add it as a trusted uh, root CA. So I'll go ahead and wait for that to finish up. All right, now that our import, uh, we imported our root CA, I'm going to go ahead and commit those changes. And uh, next, we're going to go ahead and start the uh, ICE configuration for this. So let's go ahead and Wait for that to finish committing. This part's pretty easy. So easy, you'd say you could say Narbic's grandmother could do it. So wait for that to finish. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to Network Identity Services Engine, and we're going to enable and edit these settings. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our ICE node IP address in and upload the root CA certificate. There we go. We don't have a secondary one, but we'll go scroll down to this guy and upload the root CA again. Make sure that's uploaded. Next thing on this WSA client certificate, we're going to go ahead and generate a new certificate and key. So the common name is going to be WSA security demo.net engineering, or actually uh, Cisco engineering US and oh, Paul Munz. We'll generate that. And a very, very important thing uh, that I learned the hard way was you do have to click Save, Submit now. You do not want to wait and try to up, you know, get the, the uh, CSR written and then uh, try to upload again. It won't work. So after saving, we're going to go ahead and request a certificate. Go to Advanced Certificate Requests and our PX Grid template that we did in previous videos. Click Submit. We're going to go ahead and save that certificate. Then go back here and click Edit Settings. And go down to the very bottom. We'll go Browse, the new certificate we just downloaded. Upload that file. Uh, click Submit again. Commit the changes. Now go to Edit Saving uh, Settings and test it out. Retrieved 12 S security group tags. So everything's working completely like it should. And if you go over to ICE and go to PX Grid Services, you should see that, uh, that WSA now to share that. Sh and it's authorized to share session data. So going back here, I'm going to go ahead. And if I wanted to like kind of incorporate this into a, uh, into a policy, I could go to Web Security Manager and uh, Identification Profiles. And then I can create one off of ICE. So essentially, I can go uh, identity, identity services engine. And let's go ahead and transparent users with ICE. Define members by subnet. We'll just go ahead and 
There's 24. And let's submit. And give it changes. And we can do a few other things. So we can create access control policies based on ICE as well. So if we wanted to go ahead and submit some policies, let's go ahead and say uh, SGT or see what the default security group tags are over here. Let me take a look. Jurassic. Go over to components really quickly. Let's see. So we're going to create one for BYOD just to test it out. So let's go call this one BYOD. And then we're going to select the ICE profile we created and pick a security group tag. So waiting for it to load a security group tag, BYOD. Let's check this one. Add it. Done. You can always click users as well, but I'm not going to do that. So just the security group tag uh, for BYOD and click submit. And I can at that point create like a URL filtering policy specifically for BYOD that says, you know, block everything except, I don't know, social media. We'll go ahead and just monitor social media. That's a, not that. Uh, social networking. Here we go. Commit changes. So that's uh, integrating ICE and uh, WSA. Pretty easy to do, um, but right now I don't really have anything set up in terms of security group tags. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope that was uh, that was uh, useful for you guys and thank you guys for